Okay, so I went to an interview this morning, and I um, it was a really good interview. I've been on two this week, and the interview went really well. Um, it was like 40 minutes long, which is pretty good considering interviews usually take 10-15 minutes. And um, I got to tour the facility. I really, really want this job. I, you know, I don't even care if it's at this particular place so long as it's with this healthcare organization. It's like, it's awesome. So, anyways, um, I don't know. They have a really, really, really good benefits package. And if you want to continue your education, they will pay for your school, which is awesome. And I'm just looking forward to, to hearing something in 10 days' time. But there are, are, I don't know, there's something, there's some things that, that most interviewers ask when you're in an interview. And one of them is, um, how much would you like? Uh, per hour? How much do you expect to get paid per hour? And that's something that I don't like to answer because I know what price range I want, but to ask, I, I don't know. I just don't like that. <laughs> I'm kind of tongue-tied about that. But I did read in an article not too long ago, actually it was on, on Yahoo Jobs I think an article that they had and that was one of the questions is um, if you're asked that and you're really not comfortable answering just say well that's negotiable upon my hiring or are you hiring me something like that and um, usually that's what I'll say now after I've read that article I'm like oh wow but a couple of days ago I have had um, a job interview and I was asked that and I thought oh well I'll use my new line and say um you know that's negotiable upon hiring me and she goes <laughs> reenactment here she goes <laughs> well how much you know do you think that you would like you know how much would you were you are you worth do you think she put me on the spot and then she asked me one of the biggest no-no questions, which I found out is illegal to ask, and that is, do you have any kids? You don't ask somebody that. But because I want a job so badly, I overlooked it, and I told her. I said, well, you know, I've got three grown kids, the youngest of which is 19. And... Um, I just thought to myself, why didn't I tell her that was illegal? She shouldn't have asked me that. And then here I'm thinking on the way home, well, okay, so if I get hired there, I'll just, you know, once I become friendly with her, I can say, hey, you know what? You shouldn't have asked me that because that was illegal. But, I don't know, whatever. So, back to this job that I interviewed with today that's like the bee's knees. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait to hear from, from this person. And, um, I don't know. It's, um, it's a kind of a double standard, double-edged sword, whatever. In that, when, because I just graduated from med school, um, I don't really have the experience. I've had my externship experience, but that's not a whole lot of experience. And so I know um, he had told me today that one of the downfalls is is um, that I don't have a lot of experience. And, and um, I came back with, well, you know, being freshly graduated from med school, uh, I'm very highly trainable, you know trainable in, in however um, you want the facility to be run, which I thought was a pretty clever answer, and I think he did too, or else he would have had to come back with me. Um, but how are you supposed to get experience if nobody wants to hire you? It's kind of like, you know, just hire me, hire me. That's all I want you to do is hire me. That would be awesome. And then, 
you know, everything will fall into place. But it's hard because almost everybody wants someone who is uh, already seasoned, as he puts it, seasoned. <laughs> like, you know, salt and pepper. I don't know. That's what I think of when somebody says seasoned people on the job. I don't like that word. Oh, well, anyway, what can you do? Nothing. <laughs> so wish me luck. Fingers crossed. And I hope that I get the job. That's all I have to say. Hope everybody's doing well today. Have a great day. And I think that's about it. Bye.